Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and Sistonians and welcome! In today's video we're going to be checking out Nether, an action in the MMORPG simulation. Essentially it's a somewhat of a zombie survival game that's currently available on Steam for early access. It was currently 10% off for the Halloween sale and currently costs £20.69, that's the version I bought anyway and there's two versions to this game. There's the Believer set which lands you a few things such as say... let's see... Land your early access, 20 nether gold, I'm not too sure what that is, but it's some kind of in-game currency. And three beta keys to share with friends, woohoo! And participation in forums to define upcoming game features, woohoo! And then of course there's a secondary pack, the, this one's called the Chosen Pack. Currently costs £26.99, 10% off, and this includes early access, 50 nether gold, woohoo! Chosen only, exclusive in-game items, because of course the pack you're buying is the Chosen Pack or edition even, participation in farms, and special highlighted name and rank in all farms. Oh, goody, 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 I cannot wait. So this is being published and developed by Phosphorus Games, and it's currently available on the Steam Early Access. And well, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? So this is actually the game first loaded up. This is the first impressions, of course. Haven't actually played this yet. I don't know what I'm getting into at the moment, but hopefully it'll be okay. After all, I've played, well, quite a few zombie survivals, Daisy, or that kind of malarkey. Also, there was a bit of an issue trying to get the game sorted out because, of course, once you bought the game and you log in and you open up the game, you have to sign in through the website. Now, if you sign in, you have to sync your Steam account with your, well, with, I'm just going to call it the Phosphor, I'm just going to call it the Nether login login screen. It's, it's rather frustrating. It was annoying. It took me quite a few hours to get it sorted out. And once I actually authorized my Steam as well and synced it, I still couldn't log in. But enough about that, we're going to stop complaining, we're going to, we're going to stop talking about things, we're going to start playing, so let's go for EU West. Also, all these plays, all these servers are empty and there's no one in them. That's not a very good start for an MMORPG, is it? Hopefully that's just a glitch and there are people lurking around on these servers. And, maybe, and hopefully, just hopefully, I'm not actually the only person playing this game. That's if, of course if the game actually does load up for us. I haven't had a chance to sort out my settings or anything like that, so this might be a little loud, might be a little quiet, I'll hopefully edit that out later on. That is if the game actually loads. Hmm. Don't seem to be getting anywhere here, do we? I'll get back to you on this. So, we are finally in the game somewhat. <laughs> yes, the servers have been down for about, well, a day and a half, nearly two days now. They keep popping up and down. But at the moment, we are currently in the spawning screen. Well, actually, this isn't a spawning screen. What this is, essentially, I cannot do anything at the moment. <laughs> you see, we're stuck like this, with the camera to the side like this. In spectator mode, well, I was in spectator mode, but when I started talking and pushed the enter button, whoa, the camera freaks out, man. And then we're stuck like this, we can't do anything, we can't move, I can't push any buttons at all, I'm just typing. Enter. And we are pretty much stuck like this. But I think we can actually deduce for the time being that the game does look extraordinarily good. Let's talk about the graphics very quickly here. Unfortunately, of course, however, there is one problem. The anti-aliasing, well, on my PC, the anti-aliasing is actually as high as I can go. And I actually, somehow, earlier today, when the servers were up for like half an hour, I somehow managed to actually take a look at the settings and all that kind of stuff, and the anti-aliasing there is on. But it's, it just feels a bit rough around the edges, but I can't complain about that because it looks it does look really good. I'm currently on a bridge somewhere, and it, it definitely has a sort of Metro 2033 slash Stalker vibe to it. It's very nice. And yes, I was playing on it earlier, and it was, it was, it was good, I'm not going to admit that. It was kind of fun, but there were still a few issues with it that I will slowly get into once I'm finally able to join a game and get playing. Okay, without further deliberation, we are now actually finally in the game and we're going to be checking it out now. So, this is the, currently the first screen when you first spawn in. Just do not, of course, that when you do finally get into a server, it'll take you around 5 to 10 minutes to actually spawn a character like this. So, there's four character slots here. We can customize our character if we want. We have we can customize the head, how he looks, like little. Nah, he looks too green. There we go, like that. Look. Actually, you know what? Let's make him green. There we go. And I'm going to give him some nice combat trousers over there. So as you can see on the right hand side of the screen here, we have some stats. This is of course an RPG MMO, there are leveling elements in this. When you fight enemies, you level up and you get skill points. And now what these skill points do quite exactly isn't exactly obvious at first. It just gives you a, well, it just gives you a name from gun, stamina, survival, strength, stealth and melee. But honestly, just from looking at those, I think we can figure out what's going on. So without further ado, actually, yeah, another Urban Warrior 01. Oh, okay, so we can change our different skin types of Urban Warriors. What's the difference? Oh, I get it. The 
Vest doesn't go up, Vest goes up and down. So there we go, we're gonna make a dude green, we're gonna log in, and this is hopefully gonna be fun. There we go, it's gonna do a few things here, here we go. So here we go, oh, I got the Grim Reaper. Hold on a second, I had this weapon earlier, <laughs> when I played the game. Okay, so let's talk, let's chat to the natives, shall we? So push I, enter. I'm in! Hey, I'm in! Let's wait five minutes. There we go, so we're in the game. I've got my weapon, push the I button, and here's my inventory. Yes, I was playing earlier. Can I drop items? I can drop the knife, of course. I have my Gordon Freeman style bottle there. The style crowbar. I have uh, guns. I also have some water bottles. Okay, we also see, as you can see down the bottom of the screen, there is cash, there is money, we have a weight bar. And also, we have level 1 and 0 experience. So, even though I'm level 0 again, okay, I can't control my inventory, it's the I button. So, even though we're level 0 once again, we still have the items that we had. So, like I was saying earlier, the game looks fantastic. Also, going back to the server issues very quickly, honestly, I don't actually feel that the game should have been released in the current state that it was in. They should have at least waited until they actually got the issues sorted out before the game was being released on Steam, because two days off not being able to play. I know it's beta, of course, you can go ahead and say that. But it is a bit of a cock up, and it does actually really affect people's view of your game like that. Reading on the forms there, people are complaining about it. Okay, enough, enough of deliberation. Okay, well, let me show you what I'm going to do quickly. I'm going to go into the map. This is the play area. It's only this little square area over here. There's a little beach over there, some broken bridges. What I'm actually going to do is head over to the safe spawn here because I've never been there before. And it's apparently an anti nether zone. So, as you can see, I'm just going to be quiet for a few seconds here, but as you can probably hear when I'm not talking, the ambience in the game is fan bloody tastic. There's barely anyone around. So, I'm just going to be exploring buildings on my way to the safe zone. But the ambience is fantastic. It really, the city really does feel dead. And every now and again, you'll hear the screeching sounds of monsters. So, while I'm on the topic of monsters, I want to talk about the combat very quickly. So far, from what I've seen, there's only really two enemy variety types. Two, two enemy variety types. There is like a, a little doggy thing that pops up from the ground, and there's like a sort of humanoid who just spits at you. Oh, yeah, I want to talk about bugs very quickly. Oh, wait a second. Can I actually climb on top of this thing now? Oh, yes, I can. Excellent. You see, there's actually some buses, some, well, some structures that you can't, you can actually, you can actually walk through the cars, that's what I'm trying to see. There we go, spell like that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that screeching. Monsters. I guess that's where the stealth aspect comes in. Okay, so what I'm actually doing right now is I'm trying to look for some kind of a point. Some kind of safe place to hide. Can I jump over here? Actually, yeah, I can come over here. As you can see, then the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, I've got health bar. Oh, the enemies is really freaky. I've got a health bar, I've got a sprint meter, which is represent represented by a small circle, and I've also got a water bottle, which is once again represented by a small zero that depletes as I... Well, I have to just carry on through the world a little easier. But seriously, this is this is beautiful. It really is amazing. The game does look fan bloody and Again, there's a few anti-aliasing issues, but it's really good for what it is. I, I'm, I will not deny that at all. The game is fan bloody -tastic. Oh, 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 I think we found a supply place over here. Let's see if there's anything... any supplies, any guns. Now, oddly enough, I found a samurai sword earlier, but it was locked behind a gate and I couldn't actually access it. This actually annoyed me a little, well, because it's a samurai sword. I get it, it's a very stereotypical thing that, you know, that everyone likes to see in their games every now and again. Because, you know, it's cool, it's Asian, man. Gotta have our samurai swords. Oh, there we go, I'm walking through the furniture. That's a bit of a bug that should maybe put some hit, some collision detection in this in a bit. Okay, so like I said, we're going to head over to the safe zone. It's, an actual, it's actually an anti-never spawn. The monsters don't actually spawn there. However, there are issues at times. Now, there are events where monsters can actually, well, not, not monsters can't actually spawn there, but the never protection actually runs out and actually falls down or gets destroyed or something like that. I'm not too sure what exactly happens. And then monsters can, of course, get in and kill you. Now, as you can see, you're probably thinking, yeah, this is a bit boring. It's a, this is a bit boring. Nothing's happening. Well, that's our point of it. It's, this is fun for me. I'm, I am loving this. The emptiness just makes it, the city just feel so much more, well, it just feels so much more better compared to if, if it was, like, dead. Look at this little rat. Ah. Oh. Okay, so we can't kill a rat zero out of zero. <laughs> Actually, speaking of rats, I want to talk to you this very quickly. Unfortunately, you can't punch in this game. See, I have no see my melee weapon. Nothing is there, and I can't punch things. This is a bad thing for me because I am as one of those persons who enjoy punching things. Yes, I'm one of those kinds of people, ladies and gentlemen. But you know what? I'm proud to be one of those people. I'm a proud puncher. Always have been, always will be. And the fact that you can't actually punch things, I'm, I'm just, it's, not, it's a little upsetting to me. I like punching things, I'm sorry, this is the way I am about these games. If I don't have the opportunity to punch things, then I'm, well, I'm just going to be a bit disappointed. 
Okay, so you know what we're actually going to do? We're actually going to head up to high ground. The only problem with going up to high ground, of course, is that you can't actually spend time looking in houses for supplies. Because, of course, you need supplies to live. You find, well, I found a crisp packet. Hey, that's spectacular, isn't it? A crisp packet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so I want to talk about the combat very quickly. There are, of course, PvP elements in this game. So chances are when you find someone, they're either going to want to kill you or just avoid you completely because they're afraid of you. But let's not talk about the players. Let's talk about the monsters and monsters. Hmm, see, it's very... It's, uh, it's rather tense because monsters can appear any time and anywhere. Speaking about the monsters... I'll talk about the monsters and the combat very quickly. It's just... It's very, it's very basic. Oh, what do we have here? So we have some 12 gold shells. I'm just going to pick these up. Hello, handsome. You literally just whack things. That's it. And now, of course, you can't really get any more tactical than that in these kinds of games. But what I would like to see is some kind of monster variety. Okay, so there, there is some variety to the monsters. There's, like, a little teleporting doggy and there is, like... A barfing humanoid, but what I'd like to see is like, well, I don't want to say special infected from left to dead, from left, from left for dead, but you know what? I would like something along those lines. I like some special infected that requires certain tactics in order to take them out. Oh, oh, oh! We broke the game. Oh no, never mind. I push you too long. I like to be able to, like, I don't. Know this is going to sound cliche, but have enemies with weak spots and attack patterns, patterns that you have to learn in order to kill them. That would be a nice thing. And have like different things, like uh, say at night time, there's a day-night cycle in the game. Have it so that during the night certain types of monsters come out that makes the game a little more difficult. Like a monster which you have to stealth around. I know those kinds of things. Just it just needs to be uh, well, not cranked up, but you know, just edited a little. Not edited. What I'm trying to say is, you know, just mix things up a little. There we go. It's finally spattered out. Okay, so this looks like a wallpaper, kind of some kind of gas station. Oh, what do we have here? Bro Max, yeah, energy drinks for the pussy baby. Okay, we've got some crispies as well. Om nom 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 nom. I would read all like a shot then, so that people can check in, but they're not going to be able to check out. Oh, quick speed energy bar. Oh no, backpack, no backpack space. So let's just eat some of these very quick. Let's have some Bro Max energy drink. Push the button there. Going to eat a packet of crisps. Eating crisps doesn't actually seem to do anything at the moment. Perhaps it's oh, there's some more energy. But there we go. So no weapons around here. I think that eating stuff only increases your health, but only marginally. I see nothing here as well. So I think we found like some kind of abandoned save zone that, uh, of course, nothing was left in. Okay, we've got some more crisps over there, but we're not after the crisps. Let's check on inventory. I'm keeping going with these items because you never know when I'm actually, you know, get something off use, like a proper gun or something like that. Hello? Is anybody around? Okay, you see that the B button is actually pushed to talk. I don't know that myself, of course. I just actually found somebody actually told me that. Oh yeah, speaking of uh, push to talk, I want to show you the controls very quickly. The interface, push the I button because the escape button doesn't actually work. Got the settings, and these are our settings. We can invert the mouse, change it to full screen. Increase the resolution, the anti-aliasing, the detail is high, the view distance is far. I want light shafts as well, you definitely need light shafts in this game. There we go. So I need my game to look good, man. Unfortunately, I just haven't seen any enemies yet. I know that's probably not what you want to hear. I know you want to see me like pop some caps into some masses. I'm showing you the baddies. Perhaps they're not actually spawning because there might be an issue with the servers. I'm not 100%. But you can actually hear them in the background at, at times. Cawing away. They're harking away. They're song of doom. Wanting to kill people. Okay, so I think this is the safe zone over here. I think this is where all the little monsters can't find stuff. And is this a safe zone? I think it is. Entering safe zone. There we go. I actually heard that there are NPCs in this game. I'm not too sure if there actually are. Or if I've just heard things wrongly. And chances are it's probably the latter instead of the former. Hello! Is anybody around in the safe zone? Just asking, because you never know. There might still be somebody in the safe zone. So there's all these trucks. Nothing in them. I think they're actually all just for so sure. And this place is just a nice place. A little safe zone, a little respite from the monsters of the dead. The monsters and ghoulish creatures that wish to do us harm. That kind of business. Okay, also we can zoom in on the thingy. So let's take a trip somewhere. We're in the safe zone. There isn't really anything here. It's 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 safe. It's nothing good. But I want to show you the actually bits. Oh yeah, just talk about the chat very quickly as well while I'm here. Push the enter key and you essentially chat. You can't actually change who you're talking to or anything like that. And I think if you push talk is just the uh, general. 
can anybody in, in the chat hear me on push to talk? Just, you know, just throwing that out there just in case they can actually hear me. So I think it seems like the safe zone is, is, is safe, but there isn't actually anything of use in here. There's a German here. Ah, Bakker's in Buta. Because this is actually a game I can actually see myself enjoying immensely if they actually just, you know, just fix the final kinks of it. Ah, there's a little pack of the children. Ah, cute. Okay, so I want to leave the stage zone. Let's head to Lakeside Downtown. That seems like a cool place. That seems like... Oh, oh, happened again. When you push shift, it seems something blows on you like that. That's okay. So the survivors have built themselves with a nice little safe zone. It's, it's rather safe. People are still trying to figure out... Okay, you know, just going to tell these people. There we go. Excellent. So hopefully PV voice chat and uh, communication will be improved greatly. I'm actually hoping it's some kind of a daisy similar experience where you can actually change if you're like talking to people in global, if you're talking to people near you or if you, or if you just shouted. Oh, here we go, NPCs. Here we go, because there is actually currency in the game. Hello there, sir, madam. Uh, you got something on your face there. Uh, Z button that ducks me down. ZX, EBB, enter maybe? No. Okay, so we have an NPC. I'm guessing that this is like a shop. Here we go. That's that's K. I K L J L U M N N is map of course. P O number those U I O I. Okay, so push I in these guys. Global inventory marketplace. Here we go. There's actually nothing in the marketplace. I'm assuming this is like food, uh, health, weapons, and glasses. Maybe something will be implemented later on, but you know, we're just we're just going to leave that for a bit. Right, okay, character, have I leveled up yet? No, because I've not killed anything, so you know, I can't really level up if you're not getting any experience. So we're going to take a little trip down to, uh, I'm thinking Lakeside. Let's go explore some buildings and see if we can't actually find us some combat. Show you some monsters or something like that. Oh, sorry, the siren scared me there. Yes, this is actually a very tense game because it's dead. There's nothing here. And while that's not exactly the greatest thing, it's also the greatest thing. Because you don't know what's around, but when you hear a sound, when you hear something in the background, it's like, oh, what made that sound? I'm gonna ship some my pants. Okay, pick up a water bottle. Pick up the water bottle. I command you to pick up the water bottle. It's my inventory full. Psst, Paul. I'll make you a deal, yeah? I'll pick you up, and I won't drink you for a while. Where'd it go? Oh, I lagged out. Okay, so. I lagged out. Okay, that's perfectly fine. There we go. So we're gonna do a little exploring. This is a building, and hopefully. No, you know what we're going to do, actually? Forget that. We're going to find the tallest building. This is a tall building. And we're going to try climbing to the top of it. Just to see if he can or not. It's another... Oh, I've got cash. Oh, let's pick up the cash. Okay, can I use my items in my inventory? Consume it. Consume, quick slot 7 maybe? 5? Okay, so I think the game is actually lagged down. As <laughs> I finally got in, let's do this to me. Oh well, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Okay, so it doesn't actually be, appear to be any way to actually get on top of this building. Doesn't seem to be some any kind of stairwell or anything like that at all. Yeah, my my crowbar isn't charging up. So unfortunately, I think the game has actually lagged out on us. Can't even talk in the chat anymore either. So what we're going to do is try climbing up this building all the way over here while we're still in the game, just so I can actually show off how great this game looks. Because, oh, there's all this money everywhere. Give me the money. Oh, there's more cash everywhere. Oh, oh. So, the, so while I'm busily walking up to the building here, I'm just going to say this very quickly. The game has huge potential. Unfortunately, it's uh, let down by the, well, just by the uh, server issues that are currently at the moment and the fact that it is a beta. Now, yes, I do know I'm complaining about things even though it's a beta, but like I said earlier, if you're going to release a game, you want to be, to be functional so that you can actually show off how great it is to the people. It's why it's a beta. It's why people like me who YouTube and make beta games. Oh, wait, well, I'm, I'm, I'm in again. Oh, Joy, I need, to, I need to pick up all my money. Okay, where's all my money gone? Got my cash, man. Om nom 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 nom. Oh, so much money. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> Give me the cash.
Nope, nope, still can't talk. Bugging me. Okay, let me just try and find a nice tall tower somewhere, just so I can climb up it and show you all how glorious this world is, so. Let's see, this place looks kind of high. And there's scaffolding along the outside of it, so maybe I'll get lucky. There's a tall building as well. Unfortunately, even though that there's all these... Oh, that's a really tall building, but it's actually off the outskirts of the map. As you can see over here. Who knows, maybe this is actually an area that'll be unlocked later on, because as you can see, there's so much to this map. Maybe this is just like a test area, and the rest of it hasn't been made quite yet, or will be released later on to the general public. Well, hello there. <laughs> well, isn't that typical? I finally showed you off an enemy, and the game boots me out like that. Okay, let's just try that again. Let's see, I think my bro was in... Oh, I'm just going to join Wounded Loner. And see if we can't get in. <laughs> oh, there is his ass hanging out of the basket. <laughs> well, hello there. Sexy time. And I think that the game might actually have just bugged out on us. No, 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 we're getting in again. That's good. So actually, so hopefully, maybe I'll be able to show you some combat now once I get into the server. Oh, well, actually, I'm gotten straight away. That's pretty damn good. Let's log in. Okay, got my knife. Wait, got my knife. Okay, so my inventory is reset again. Okay, so hopefully I'll actually be able to show you some. Co <gasps> There's more so there. I'm showing you some combat. Okay, so here we go. We've got a dude over here. He teleports and disappears, so I have to figure out where he's going to teleport to next over here. So we just slash him with the kitchen knife. He teleports again. And then. Oh, he's a little fan. That's okay. See, it's a bit simplistic. You're just, you're just circle sweeping at the moment, trying to hardest not to die. But I'm also trying my hardest to actually hit them. What I like is the weak spots. Okay, so just double kill, Double kill, baby, yeah. Did I have a friend? Okay, so I leveled up, so let's go to my character. Let's level up my uh, melee because I love punching things. Again, I don't know what these do. But we'll figure it out eventually. So can I push the right click, maybe? Oh, I can block with, I can block with right click now. That's good. Right, okay, so I think that this server is actually going to be a little... Okay, so, okay, you know, he can follow me. I think it'd be his bitch. Let's see if I can't find me some items, because apparently items are... are most common on rooftops. Also, isn't this where I, near where I was earlier? Yeah, it's exactly where I was earlier. That's fantastic. Game logs me back into another part of the map. Maybe he looks like my little friend is following me up. Okay, we are nice and high now, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, you didn't even need to use the stairs, you. Okay, so there's a little fence back again. So this is only like one of the types. Oh, yeah, medical combat is the best. Come on, where are you at? Also, enemies can drop weapons. Uh, drop items. Oh, drop the. Uh, a while ago, there was ones that dropped some uh, shotgun shells for me, and they were very nice about that. So as you can see, I of course lost a lot of health in that encounter. So that's why it's probably a good idea to actually invest in a little bit of stealth. So we're going to go to character, yeah, stealth, can increase that. I'm assuming, again, I don't know what these do, but I'll figure them out eventually. And then we're just going to go back to our screen and see if there's anywhere we can enter. Nope, we're climbing up higher. So, a few things I want to talk about again before I quickly go. There's been a few threads on the forums about how the player base will actually kill this game. Because you see, when you die, you lose all of your items. I don't think you lose any progression, but you just lose all of your items. And some people have been asking for PvE servers where you can't actually PvP because they feel like it detracts from the game. But I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but that's our point of these survival games. You don't know if people are friendly, you don't know if people are, en are enemies. You just have to either use the best judgement or you just have to either just run away from them or kill them. Because it's a PvP game, it's a survival game, and people will do what they have to do to survive. Will you fight to survive, or will you run away and try to negotiate, maybe? That's our point of these games, you have to survive. Yes, it's a bit hard and it's a bit difficult, but so what? That's our point of these games. Oh, okay, so we better not jump down there. So, as you can see, of course, my trip to the... Oh, look at this little gnome here. Oh, can I... Do anything? No, nope, there's not. Hmm, there appears to be a fire over there. So, I managed to make it to this... On top of this building, and there is nothing around. It's a bit disheartening, because it would be nice if there was at least a bit of loot on top of these buildings. I mean, it makes the journey just feel a lot less wasted. Also, I don't think I can actually get out this way, can I? Hello? I think I'm stuck. Unless my character can jump tremendously high. No, I'm going to have to just jump off the roof and kill myself. 
Banzai! Thud. Gonna click on switch character, gonna go to you. Gonna go, well, let's see. Let's make him an urban warrior number two, yeah. Let's make him green. Let's make him stealthy. Ow, yeah. There you go. So there's, of course, four character slots. Oh, we were starting the shop this time. Unfortunately, I haven't started doing anything that is actually remotely useful. Where are we on the map? We are over here in Bridgeport. That's fine. I guess I can show you the invisible walls and the framing of the game that... The thing that's coming in the game. Hello, is there anybody around? I'm pushing the B button, of course, to try and talk to fellows. So we're not going to sprint at the moment. We're just going to take our time and walk very slowly while exploring. It's going to lessen the chances that we encounter any monsters and real aggro. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some nice items before we succumb to the evils of the world. Of course, being high has its advantages. I was watching one video that was made quite a few weeks ago from some fellow whose name eludes me, and he found a sniper rifle, so the verticality of the um, game when it comes to guns, of course, is a huge advantage. Don't know why I decided to say that, I guess it was just well, that was trying to be somewhat interesting. Okay, so there's coolers over here, maybe I'll find some some items over here. Also, there's another concern of mine, it's microtransactions. This game is probably going to include microtransactions, as you can see if I push I, you get cash, and also you get nether gold. Now, when you pre-order the game, you already get access to, to some nether gold. But honestly, a uh, microtransaction in the game that you've already bought, I think that's a bit cheap. I mean, just look at Payday. There's no microtransactions in that, and it's got its, its whole economy where you have to buy things. I know that, of course, micro microtransactions are getting very popular and are a good way for some developers and companies to actually make money from the games. A little bit more extra for those who are, you know, want to feel a bit lazy. But honestly, it does detract from the game. It does give a sense of uh, pay to win. And, well, it's, well, what I'm trying to say is that it, it could be a lot better if there wasn't any pay to win. It's not exactly pay to win at the moment, I'm not saying the game is pay to win, but what I'm saying is that microtransactions of course detract from the experience of having to actually work for your items. Oh, I got cash! Give me the cash! Um, nom, 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 nom. Give me some uh, .45 ammo even though I don't have any .45s. Well, you never know, maybe I'll pick up a .45 sometime down the line. And pick up a can of canned food even though I don't need to use canned food. I think it's more for health than anything. It's got to be for health, I'm going to have to take some damage somehow and... Oh, would you look at that? I wonder if I can actually go on that crane. Oh, oh, there's another level down there. Okay, so I'm going to try head down there, maybe get some items. And then eventually I think I'm going to be... Well, I'm going to leave the video at that. Just see if I can't find anything good. Hello! Is there anybody around who wishes to be friends with me? I'm a very, very friendly person. Okay, let's see. Never wish you push I and these, uh, well... Oh, I've got pills! What are these? Are you finding pain pills? Pills here! Oh, 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 I wonder where they got where they got that reference from. <laughs> well, probably from the same place I got it from. Okay, so I've actually found some of a gold mine up here. I've got lots of p off uh, pain pills and all that kind of stuff. No weapons. Now my problem is that these items do not stack. Like if I picked up a pack of these point forty five and picked up a rubber packet, they wouldn't actually stack on top of another. Oh, pick up the, a sewing kit. No weapons though. I mean, I would even, I, I'd go for some melee weapons at least. A hatchet, a knife. Oh. I thought that was a, a revolver of some kind there. And I'll something to actually defend myself with. I am actually grateful that I've got all these nice little items, but... You know, I need some weapons, I need something to defend myself with. Okay, so I was greatly rewarded for going up there, but, I've, but as you can see I have very little backpack space in my backpack. So it's not really even worthwhile picking up those things, because quite honestly I'm just going to be wasting space for more important things. And you know what? We're actually going to leave the video at this. And that's all the time we have. I've been Systematic, and a big thank you all for watching.